You mentioned in this book, <clears throat> we have found the enemy and the enemy is teachers. How has the system worked against teachers so that they have become, as you say, the most embattled profession? Well, we've always had um, a tendency in this nation from the very time education was created to be critical of the public education system. And it's, it's sort of an American pastime. But typically that criticism was aimed at the uh, rigor of the curriculum or the structure of schooling. So when Sputnik was launched and there was a great hue and cry about the failure of American schools, it was that our curriculum wasn't rigorous enough. When Nation at Risk was published um, and said we were, you know, um, our, our very security as a nation was being challenged because of our poor public schools, they again pointed to things like um, the curriculum, the need for more rigor, the need for more courses, more graduation requirements, more time spent in school, more homework, longer school years, longer school days. We've also had debates in education about the nature of the curriculum. It's too progressive, it's not progressive enough, and so on. But what's unique about the um, focus since No Child Left Behind is that the attacks on schools now aren't so much about curriculum or structure. They're really attacks on the educators themselves. They're attacks saying that um, they're complacent, they put the needs of the adults above the needs of students, and we see this over and over and over again, and in the book I highlight 20 different um, headlines from newspapers and magazines attacking the educators as uh, the real problem. And so our attempts to reform our schools have more and more been leaning toward attempts to be punitive toward the educators themselves. We're making it easier to fire educators we're making it easier to replace them with people who have no background in education. We're taking away collective bargaining rights or shortening or reducing collective bargaining rights uh, for educators, uh, eliminating due process for their dismissal in some states. And uh, so uh, we're, we're closing schools more. We're saying an entire school has to be shut down and everybody in it is gonna lose their job. Um, these are some of the things that educators are, are having to deal with. And um, it's unfortunate that the very people who are called upon to improve our schools are being subjected to this kind of unrelenting criticism. In 2011, um, the Hoover Institute put out a list of the top five things that happened, the best things that happened in education that year. And virtually all of them were focused on limiting, limiting teacher rights, um, making it tougher uh, in terms of teacher evaluation, easier to fire teachers, eliminating collective bargaining. Every one of the things that they listed was something that was, um, from a teacher perspective, detrimental to the profession.